you really need to learn to contain yourself because people don't like the tantrums. I'm just worried now because I did so poorly last week. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model that follows the aftermath of Britney's explosive tantrum after the go -sees. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to leave the link in the description. You can watch that. It's part one. This is part two. We're going to look at the photo shoot and the judging where the judges confront Brittany about what happened. So let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, let me tell you, good morning. 530. Good morning. It's early, right? Yes. So we're actually doing two very different shoots today. We're doing one, a picture that would appear in a woman's magazine, and we're gonna do a totally different shoot. Men's magazine? Would appear in a men's magazine. So I got a photographer who knows all about women, is really sensitive to women. She's gonna come out here and start shooting you guys first. Can we bring out our photographer Not for Tyra. this morning? Oh my God. It's Tyra. No, I didn't. So a women's magazine and a men's magazine. So let me guess. Women's magazine is going to be more fashion, more modest. Men's magazine is going to be more sexy and more flirty. And remember, Tyra is an experienced photographer who shot the girls on America's Next Top Model in the past. Okay, but did she retouch right, the pictures? I want to see you looking like Playboy with me. Right? It's got to be soft and beautiful. Okay, and I'm sorry. I just have to say this. She's an experienced photographer. Does she set up her own lights? Does she does she know like shutter speed and the aperture? Like does she know like how to set up everything on her own? I think I feel like that she has people doing that. So then how much of she, how much is she involved in the photography process and can we really claim that she's an experienced photographer? If you've never had a C stand fall on you before, you're not an experienced photographer, sorry. Either you've had it fall on you or you haven't had it fall on you. Right? It's got to be soft. And beautiful and fashion. That's what and I just said. Male photographer, you can do all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh wait, we got one little thing that I say for you to tell them. They're shooting in bathing suits, and what else are they shooting with? Sexy men. Oh, oh no. Yes. This is the most beautiful light of the entire day. So that's why models wake up at the crack of dawn. That's are true. Ready to yeah. Shot? Yes. She's right. But I can't. My will. My willpower is. I have woken up at 5 a.m. for a photo shoot, for sure. She's right. The light is really beautiful. The sun is rising. You get some nice light. So try waking up in the morning if you have the willpower to do so. How are you, Miss Brittany? I'm good. How are you? Good. You ready? Okay, remember, you're selling to the chicks. Nice. I don't want a man in, in, the, in the magazine, personally. A little cold. A little cold? Okay. Yeah. Out a little bit on the fill on the left, out on this fill. A little more exaggeration. I mean, he's cute though. There you go. He's cute. He's a good looking and man. Also, Brittany, you don't have to be afraid of your sexuality. There you go. That's a good, that's a good shot, you yes. Be by this boy. She's doing great. Closer, closer, almost kissing. Closer, closer, closer. Nice. I mean, Thank these are good. The, I mean, I like the posing a lot. She's doing incredible. This is an expensive camera right here. I'm pretty sure that's a Hasselblad. When I used this camera, I found it difficult. I had to kind of relearn the interface. My friend had to help me. So that's why I'm kind of doubting this whole like, oh, Tyra's is so experienced. Because even photographers, when we switch to other br like camera brands, we still have to learn how to use that camera. Thank you. Brittany was, seemed a little bit nervous and she seemed like she was holding back a bit, but there is still something from inside her eyes. It's just kind of spellbinding. She has that thing. Why would they put the extensions in her hair like that? That kind of looked... <laughs> it just didn't look like it blended. It just looked like she had, like, all her... It looked like she had the shortcut, and then they just put extensions in. <laughs> didn't even blend it in properly. Let's look at this. Am I just, am I just making things up? <laughs> does it does not look right. All right, Dion. Relax your face. Not mean. Soft. Ready. And she put this arm backwards around his head. I like the direction. I tired with the director and the photographer today. It made me feel more comfortable than what I usually am. I used to hate it when I would be working and the photographer would say, okay, now lay down in the sand. I go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's a great, Slightly she's away. great at directing. Away so I don't see inside your nostrils. Relax your shoulders. Very good Not direction. So with the arm. That's too much. That's too much. You tend to get a little too mean in your eyebrows and your face is already intense and strong. So you don't have to go. I think Dion's concentration is off. I would tell her, arms back, and she'd do that. And then right when I pick up the camera, she'd go. 
She constantly had to be directed. It was a little frustrating for me. And I think she's going to have a nice shot, an amazing shot. I don't think that happened. Kathleen! I think Tyra's direction was really great. Notice how she's giving specific instructions. Move your shoulders back. Do this. Put your arm back more. Like, that's what models need. I think, again, she was doing a really good job. Kathleen! Are you ready? You sure? <laughs> Love how she shows up in the robe. <laughs> Nice. A safe rock. Maybe a little bit more exaggeration, even though it's a women's magazine, we don't want it to look like a wedding shot. I was slightly disappointed in Jasmine, but me being her photographer today, I want to feel a certain connection that I can kind of pick up her vibe, and I didn't pick up anything. She didn't pick up a, anything together. today. I need to feel that you guys are feeling each other. I'm sitting there. Why is he in jeans? Huh? <laughs> Why is he in jeans? Barefoot, and he's barefoot. No, and then he's not wearing like a t-shirt. And why is she in a swimsuit? Like, are they going to the beach together? But then why would he be wearing jeans? See, are they like, is it a beach day? Because I feel like he should be wearing something else. I like the robe, personally. You should have just done that. Had the girls come out in the robe. I'm sitting there contemplating about how am I going to do this, Justine? Then that's when I got, okay, Justine, just let it go. Don't be so tense. Nice. Love the pride. Gorgeous. Ouch. How do you like the head, Tyra? That's nice. Nice. Give me a little bit more creative editorial poses. Lean forward. Give me some profiles. There you She's go. doing great. Got it. Thank you. It got magical toward the end. That good. good. See, that's what usually what happens. Like in the beginning, you're just kind of testing out to see how the light is, to see, you know, you're warming up. So I think the best shots are usually towards the middle and then the end because then the models really get into it. So I think Jesleen did a great job. Are you ready to get soaking wet? Are we getting in the water? Yeah. Oh my God. Crazy. When I get in that water, I am so cold. We're gonna go fast. We're gonna get you out of here. Okay. It's all right. What's with the, is there, are those there you ex go. extensions? <laughs> that does not look good. See why can't they just have her in the short hair? I think that with the extensions, it looks worse. There you go. <laughs> in that bounce car toward her face. Lean back again. Look at him face him like almost like you're doing uh, Spanish dancing. Oh, good, oh, That's good. cute. I like that pose. That is so. Gorgeous. She's understanding this exercise very well now. Renee She's doing a great job. A natural thing. She really, really does. Final shot. Great, Renee. Thank you very much. I think that they're doing amazing. They're doing so well. And I can't wait to see these pictures. I don't know why it looks like they put uh, like a filter over this footage and why it looks so muted. But hopefully the pictures are a little bit more colorful, maybe. Tyra's in the water. See, that's why I never wear jeans for photo shoots. I'm always wearing the joggers. But, I mean, I love to see dedication here. She's in the water. She's going to swim in the ocean for this shot. I made a pee-pee. I made a pee-pee, mommy. <laughs> How are you? Okay. What are you ready to take pictures? Yes. I'm so happy. I need you to lay on your back. I like upside down pictures. I know you do. I love Natasha. Oh, wow. Really nice. Natasha looks so that. good. Mm -hmm. A little more emotion, a little more passion. Oh. Just relax your neck. Okay. Natasha is going to have some nice shots. She's not going to have as many to choose from because of the... Why are you hate? Don't hate Natasha. A little... There you go. Peek at me. No, losing your neck. Relax your neck. Very nice. That is just gorgeous. You do the modeling good, yes, very nice. Maybe, yes. maybe Tyra doesn't have to do that, doesn't have to talk like that. <laughs> Natasha understands fluent English, it seems like. I don't think it's necessary. Like, you can just talk to her normally, Tyra. <laughs> She's like, good picture, good. Click, click, like this. We're going to click, click you in the water, and then you're going to go in the, the sand, sand. I feel like I'm doing an Arab accent, maybe. That's what you should just be doing. Okay, so they're taking their men's magazine pictures. That's your eyes. What I love about Jasmine and our shoot in the afternoon is she came to set, as she said, ready. That's it, right there. That's beautiful. My God. Okay, how is how is this much different from the women's magazine? There's still a couple. Hearing Jay compliment me is exciting. That was gorgeous. Look how he pushes her off. Watch, look, he just stops her. <laughs> he literally, oh. He's like, no way you're freezing. Don't hug me. Stay freezing cold. I want nothing to do with you. 
Yes, I was complimenting you on the great job that you did, but also don't touch me. I'm in this cold ass water, trying to pose, trying to be sexy, trying to be seductive. You know what, Dion? It just looks mean, it doesn't look sexy. Every time I look at Dion, I. I love how Mr. J takes a look at the screen and then he like comes down, he's like, God damn it. <laughs> did you see that face that he made? Doesn't look sexy. Every watch watch him come on. He's Dion, like, I see a gorgeous girl. He's done. He's done with it. He's like, oh, God damn it. I'm supposed to get a pay raise. I see a gorgeous girl. And then she gets in front of the camera and just instead of giving me sexy, she gives me mean. No. You know those little smirky, smiley ones almost work for you. They take the the meanness out of the shot. A little bit more sex. She doesn't Love look mean. That expression. Finally, something soft and pretty. I think Mr. J thinks Dion's a little mean. But I could be wrong though. Why did they put him in these like neon orange, red swim trunks? Why are they in the the middle of this water? So, so many questions here. Why do all the girls have extensions? So many questions. Little answers. Beautiful. Thank you. See, Great look at that photographer came prepared. He's wearing the swim trunks. That's how you know who has the experience here. That guy, he he came ready for the beach. He's like, this is a beach photo shoot. I'm coming ready to swim afterwards. And Tyra showed up in the jeans. That's how you know a C-stand has fallen on that man. Taking the pictures. He's been through it. He knows. Ready to get down and dirty? Uh, yeah. I like doing sexy because that is one thing I know I'm good at. Grab his hand, put it on your ass, and take your hand on it. Why? Oh, that's great. I don't think I would ever utter those words during a photo shoot. We getting hot over here. I need to take my sweater off. Ooh. Renee committed to the shot. It was stunning. She looked gorgeous. The, the, the commentary. <laughs> I don't even want to be part of this. I think my soul has left my body. Mr. J, you need to take your sweater off? Okay, so take it off. But I want to see you be cold like the girls in the freezing cold water and the little bikinis. Looking a little toasty there with the sweater. All right, you two. No messing around. The hair. Around. I can't. <laughs> Why would they, you guys, I'm, why are they doing this to her with the, with the hair? Didn't they cut her hair? Didn't they do the makeover and cut her hair shorter? And they did this only to put back extensions into her hair? That looked terrible. It looks terrible. The color doesn't even match. Who is doing this? Who ha Who is having a bad day on set and is doing this? I hope that's not how you are intimate in real life. What? Yeah. Now you're getting it, Bernie. Now you're getting it. What? What? Now you're getting it. It doesn't even. That doesn't even look good, Mr. J. Is that what she's getting? A bad picture in the portfolio. He's like, now your portfolio is gonna be terrible, just like we want. Good job, Brittany. Brittany, is this how you operate your romantic life outside of the show? Do you not have multiple boyfriends? Do you not already have a family, a five? What's going on here, Brittany? Can you not make out with this man in front of our camera like we want you to? I have never seen you look that sexual in a picture before, so you gave it. I don't know if I'd do anything different, because I did get the shot off eventually, and in this competition, it's all about one shot. Now, this next one, she might give us porn star in a second, so we gotta watch it. Okay, really, dude, she didn't even start taking the picture. Why are you, why are you saying that about her? Why are you saying that about Natasha? That's so disrespectful. He's so, so rude. Don't talk about Natasha like that. Mr. J. Woo! Okay, honey. There we go. Every now and then, the pose was a little awkward, but I think overall, Natasha got the vibe that we were going for. Yeah. The That's vibe it. you're going for, which is I what? Felt like this Tell was us. My bad day out of the whole See, and we all know what, what they mean by that. But you, again, you want to call the girls' names and, and put all these labels. You know, I don't like that. I don't like that. And then the fact that he's saying this about her behind her back. I like the fact that the male models seem very professional, I will say, but I, I don't like this concept at all. It's I think it's stupid. 
let's go to the judging and see if the situation with Brittany is brought up and these final photos that Tyra, Tyra the experienced photographer, has taken. All right, first up is Brittany. So, Brittany, this week you had to go on go -sees. And I understand yours didn't end so well. No. Tell us what happened. I didn't make it back in time. I didn't leave enough time for sort of extenuating circumstances, so I made a big mistake. No. I asked the cab driver to meet me on Cooper Street, and he didn't show up. You really need to learn to contain yourself because people don't like the tantrums. I'm just worried now because I did so poorly last week and sort of frustrated with myself. It's I got word, Brittany. Brittany, you can't. You're still blaming. Me. She said, what is that? extenuating circumstances what did she say extenuating circumstances aka the taxi it's, it's, it's tim the taxi driver i'm just making up a name for him but just okay the taxi driver watching this is not gonna be happy he's being brought in for the entirety of the episode the villain of this episode is the taxi driver <laughs> in britney's mind that is the villain that's the villain origin story for brit like she had a taxi driver that didn't drop her off in the right spot and, and now here we are. She might get eliminated because of this. I got word, Brittany, that none of the clients said that they wanted to book you, not one of them, which is odd to me because you take some of the strongest pictures here. I didn't know that. You weren't emotional on the go season, no? Not at all, no. I'm absolutely shocked that you didn't get booked. I think you're a very good example of it's not just about being pretty and having pretty pictures. But there might have been an energy or something or a personality thing that didn't click with designers. I don't like the fact that she said that. You know, it might have been your personality and who you are as a person. Your whole being. She said, you know, she said pretty pictures. I don't think that was the case. I didn't see any pretty pictures in that portfolio. And that's just the harsh truth. I'm sorry. They were some interesting photos, but did the photos benefit the models? I, I don't think so. Uh, it's not just about being pretty and having pretty pictures. But there might have been an energy or something or a personality thing that didn't click with the designer. See, because... Now Brittany's gonna think, oh, is there something wrong with my personality? And now she's gonna she's gonna take that. I don't know how these girls are gonna deal with having comments like that being made to them on the show. That what that could hit you deep, you know. Imagine someone told you that someone like Tyra, supermodel, so successful, she's literally like the host of the show, telling you maybe it's your personality. New insecurity unlocked. Not everyone's social. Not everyone's gonna go be best friends and with people that they just just met i think britney was trying to keep it professional okay she might have not had the best walk but you don't n not everyone has to be super social and bubbly is what i'm saying to be successful all right so you had a couple of photo shoots this week michael ohm shot your very sexy man magazine yes. photo shoot and i shot your soft sexy female photo shoot so let's see your best sexy man shot well i love the light the, it's so I'm going to copy that setup. I know he used like a ring light. I'm I'm copying that. It's the light on here is gorgeous. The editing is perfect. I love the composition. I mean, it's a great picture. It's not I would not personally shoot something like this and it's not my style, but I can appreciate that it's a good shot. Can we see the close up? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Silky, silky. The eyes are so okay. strong, and it's a very sexy picture. The camera loves you. That's why you've got to find this personality when you do your meetings. I was very shocked because I see you gotta the find the personality. Kind of angelic <laughs> girl with the innocent face that guys are gonna be like, I don't get why she's a model. I mean, you know, because guys are like so mm -hmm. one track when it comes to what beauty is, and they don't understand your type of beauty sometimes. Your type of beauty. <laughs> Tyra, Tyra, have you this? Halas. Oh my God. I would not recover from this show. <laughs> and what did Twiggy say? I love Twiggy though. I know she didn't mean any harm in saying it, but she's like, you need to find your person, uh, a personality or something like that. <laughs> My self-esteem would be on the floor. And, um, but they understand overt sexuality. So this shows that you can do both. Let's see your best shot. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and do we see the difference in the image quality, how these were shot between Tyra and the other photographer? Again, someone had a C-stand fall on them and someone did not because the C-stand fell on their assistant, their 20 assistants who set up the lights and put in the settings. I mean, it's not a bad photo by any means. It just seems very, it's just kind of basic. There's nothing really special to it. And I don't like how 
she's always toning these images brown, like a like a brown tone. I don't know why. She doesn't, it's never in color for some reason. At least I haven't seen any of her photos in color yet. Maybe that's her thing. But sometimes photographers make their stuff black and white because they're trying to hide that the colors didn't come out right. I said it. I said it. You're gonna. You're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it. Jay said that for the women's magazine, your male model outshined you, and you second guessed your poses. Don't let a boy outshine you because boys <laughs> usually <laughs> are the accessory in a shot. I know you were a male model, Nigel, but y'all were accessories. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mr. J is really out here. He's like, oh, you think you did well? Not anymore. Mr. J has his burn book. After each photo shoot, he signs it off. He sends it to Tyra. And here, and they read the comments aloud. Natasha, you uh, had an issue with the go sees as well. What was your issue? I was late. I felt that you handled it very well. You were a bit cross, but you, you handled it well. Thank you. When you say cross, that means upset, right? Yeah, you're mad. I don't, I don't feel like Natasha was mad. She was like, she was excited coming in because she thought that she was on time. But then when she was asked to leave, she just left. So other and she took accountability. See how she was like, I was late. She owned that. And that's why I love Natasha. All right, Natasha. So you They pan to Brittany. One with a male photographer for a male magazine. Wow. wow. The last few The sessions, light is you're so good. Yeah, well done. You know how your lips get in you guys, the way. Th these are great pictures. I mean, again, they're not my style. I wouldn't shoot something like this, but photographer did an amazing job. I even love the composition. He did so good. A lot. I tell you, you go like this too much. This is the one time where you can push them out, and it's okay. They're kind of open, like yeah, baby, come on, baby, yeah, yeah, come on to me. You also had a photo shoot <laughs> where you had to just advice for a women's magazine. Uh, okay, wow, wow. Who retouched these? It's the retouching is gorgeous. Natasha looks exceptional in this photo. I love it. I do like this picture a lot. It's beautiful. It's soft. Tyra could have taken them, yeah. But did she edit these? That's the real question here. Jasmine, so you had two photo shoots. One with a male photographer for a male magazine. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Great shot. I really like this. That's cool. I like this. Great. I mean, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying seeing every picture from, from this male photographer. See that eye contact, Jasmine? That is the eye contact that men love. The amazing thing about you is okay, you I wouldn't know. your face <laughs> covered in hair. You still maintain a great face shot. I don't look anyone All in right, the eyes Jasmine, anymore. You had a photo shoot shot by me. Very different too. I like. Why? Why is there so much space to the right? It looks like a very like emotional, like family session. They hired you to do this at the park. This is what it looks like: a family session. It's a husband and wife. They just got married and they're just taking a stroll on the rocks. At the, they're they're walking along the state park. That's what it looks like to me. Very different too. I like it yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's very soft. What is it that in this picture? I love how they have to zoom like in from the left, from all the way to the left angles. side. Jasmine, when you first came to the set, you were quiet, meek. I was scared, you know. It was five I was in the morning. I was posing at that point, not even trying to connect with you. You always must connect with the photographer. All right, thank you. Thank you. Up next is Dion. All right, Dion, so you had a photo shoot for a male magazine. Yeah, love, wow, great pictures. For me, it's not one of your best shoots. What? You no, film, yeah, Dion, I disagree. Go into this mean face, like a... And, and coincidentally, Tyra just happens to say, oh, it's mean. I'm just going to say a random word, mean. You look like you're mean, you have a mean face which just so happens to be the same feedback Mr. J gave her during the shoot. It's like a... <clears throat> so you have to learn to give a softness with sexy, not a this. Okay, give me her her yeah. photo was amazing. Mean. 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 Yeah. You see, without you, you just did it. I, I didn't what? know until you guys said that. It's just natural. <laughs> Let's see your female shot. If you look at the male model, he looks... Tyra, what is this? <laughs> so far, the the male photographer's shots have been way better. The I don't know what this is. What's going on? I don't know why his hand is sticking out back there and just awkwardly sitting in the sand. And the hor the horizon line is skewed. You couldn't even just do a rotate and then just straighten it out. 
And then why is this look, oh, I just caught something, you guys, look at this. You see the edges of his head? They like burned in something there. They added in something in post-processing and it doesn't look good. Let's see how this is like really dark. It's not, it doesn't match the softness here. That's because they, in post-processing, someone went a little too far. Relax, he's just looking past you. There's a serenity. And then I see your face and it's connected with the camera, but it looks too pow. Is that Nigel with her? It looks too pow. <laughs> You have to be so directed, like every little tiny thing. So you have to really relax and listen to the photographer and feel it. She's like, you listen to me. The photographer. All right, Dion, thank okay. you. She all has right. to be an inspiration Last to us all. Least, Renee. All right, Renee, so you had two photo shoots. The first for a male magazine. Ooh. Wow. Wow. This male photographer, I'm telling you, he had the swim, swim trunks on. He came shirtless. He's ready to go to the beach. He did not come to play. What really makes him a good photographer is that I don't. this is not even my personal style, and I still find this to be a great shot. This is a favorite look of photographers for male magazines. It's that look, because it makes the reader think you want them. You did the booty, too. Okay. <laughs> the booty is the new sex accessory, and you are touching that back and that booty to make men look back there. Even though there's not a lot I, there. I can't with this comment. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Renee, you had a photo shoot with me. Oh like she's doing flamingo yeah. dancing in the water. See, okay, see, like, his hand under the water is, like, cut off, and it's, she just, you know what the problem is? She should have composed it, this one better. She should have got in closer, I think. The editing is beautiful. Editing is gorgeous. The retouching is perfect. Just the way that this was shot, which was Tyra. Tyra shot this. I don't like. And when okay. I call you back. So who do we think is going home? Hmm. Brittany's definitely going to be in the bottom. And then I think it's going to be Dion with her, if I were to guess. Or maybe Renee. So before we see who gets eliminated for no reason, I want to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. They really help in bringing your vision to life. I've been using Squarespace for so long. I host my website on there. I absolutely love what they offer. They have amazing tools to create whatever you're looking to bring to life, whether that's a project, you wanna show off your pictures, you wanna open up a store, you can do it using Squarespace. They have designer templates, which you can switch out with just a click of a button. And the thing I like most is that it's really easy to use. They have drag and drop features. You literally click a picture, you drag it to where you want it to go and it live updates. So you can see how it looks on your website. And there's no plugins or anything you have to install or worry about. So you never have to worry about just things crashing on your website. And if you do have any issues, they have 24 hour customer support. So someone's always there to help you, which is why I just love Squarespace. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. All the information will be in the description. Will Dion and Brittany please step forward? I knew it. I knew it. Are they going to eliminate have Brittany? Brittany, you've taken some of the most beautiful photographs. But this week, you went on go sees, and not one of those clients said that they would book you. All the pretty pictures in the world, it's great. But if you can't get hired, you don't exist in the modeling industry. Dion, your pictures have been nice, by far not as strong as Brittany's. And this week, I came to understand why. You have to be coached so, so, so much as if this is week one of America's Next Top Model. So who goes home? The girl who needs no coaching but seems to can't book a job, or the girl that needs so much coaching but the clients here in Sydney like her? I mean, the clients like her. She must be doing something good, right? Dion. Dion, this picture by no means is as strong as Britney's. But there's something to say that. that the clients saw, something special. You have so much beauty and so much light. You are so strong, but sometimes too strong. So you have to soften that. Sometimes too strong. You're still in the running. Okay, be the less strong, Dion. Okay. Thanks, Britney. 
she okay so she hugs tyra okay sometimes the girls just like leave <laughs> they're like out and back is because you have so much beauty and so much gorgeous pictures but you gotta book the job you work on they're that? not real jobs tyra <laughs> She's like, you have to book these uh, fake jobs that are not going to lead anywhere. They are just for the, you know, it's simply speculation, but it is important to us to know theoretically if you would be qualified for the, this job. Like, I don't think Brittany's a bad person by any means. But look, we all have emotional outbursts. We've all been there. I think her personality is lovely. I do think she just, in that moment, things got heated. She was overly emotional. It happens to the best of us. And we know Britney's had issues with her memory before in the past. Again, she had the accident that gave her issues with short-term memory. So I feel like that kind like the pressure of the situation maybe made made that worse for her. And she just simply forgot that she didn't tell him to meet her at Cooper Street. And it's something that's happened to a lot of us. Like we all have a situation where we thought we said something to someone, but we didn't. I don't know about this one. I feel like they had the footage of her saying it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And maybe she did tell him and they didn't show the footage. But th this is what, like, let me, just let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on this. Because I don't know. I'm kind of like torn because I know the production could also do something. But then at the same time, they have the footage of her not telling him. So am I missing something here? Or has Brittany talked about this? I don't know. So hopefully she's doing well today. Which pictures did you like more? The male photographer's photos or Tyra's photos? And you agree with Brittany being sent home? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching.